Hi, I'm Nicole Erkin, Research Director for Mad Money, and welcome to Behind the Scenes of the Show. I'm here with Jim Kramer, and we're reviewing two key interviews in the Staples space we had yesterday. Now, Jim, we had Kimberly Clark and B&G Foods on the show. Right. These are two names that we've talked about as working in this market, though BGS has been a bit bumpy. Right. And we've talked about innovation. We're not seeing innovation in tech necessarily like we were, but in consumer staples, which is driving these names. Yeah, one of the things that people don't understand is, is that when you have bigger revenues, but you see the same table of employment, that's tech. Okay, that's tech coming in and solving uh, supply chain problems. It's tech innovating a new product that might have higher price point. And with Kimberly, I mean, Kimberly, they're in a dogfight with Procter. So they've got to come up with the better diaper. And I know that sounds like, well, so what? But that controls the situation. Right. And technology is the key. Uh, Salesforce.com, Kimberly, uh, is doing a lot with Salesforce to come to figure out what the customer wants. Right. And you, you figure out what the customer wants, you're going to do better than the guy who hasn't. So yes, now B&G's not as technically inclined, right. in, in part because what they do is they take old brands and they just put some new money behind them. And, and it's not like they're found of invention, but they bought a product that is Scotchgard, mm -hmm. and they've invented a, a Scotchgard for, for pet hair. Now again, prosaic. I mean, one of the things I'm trying to I'm trying to feature on Man Money is the prosaic stocks because mm -hmm. prosaic is good. Episodic is bad. Tech has become episodic. It has a new right. product cycle and it goes down and someone else comes with a better mousetrap, but no one's making a lot of money. This this is prosaic and upward a sign of progress. Exactly what we were talking about, recurring revenue, That's you pay right. a higher multiple. And we were talking, you've always said, we don't like multiple expansion. That's kind of no. this term that people use as, as an excuse when stocks are going up. Right. But what we're seeing is Kimberly taking costs out, moving away from the commodity type. Of, it was most exposed to commodities and it's really turned itself around. Remember, they pulled out of Western Europe and Central Europe in diapers. This had right. been a key battleground for them. They finally realized, you know what? This is killing us. It doesn't matter what we innovate. It doesn't matter. So they pull out of Luxury there. diapers in China are much better. Uh, they call it the <laughs> emperor baby. Right. The, the, peop, the mothers treat their children like emperors, so right. they want the highest form of diaper, right. which right now, according to Mr. Falk, is Kimberly. Got it. All right. Thanks, Jim. Sure. So Kimberly Clark, B&G Foods, both innovating consumer staples companies that can surge higher with more earnings power. I'm Nicole Erkin, Research Director for Mad Money with Jim Kramer. Thank you for being with us.